Lightning corn. Ben Affleck is filming in Ebor, sort of. And glowing turtles. Good morning, Plan High. Today is Wednesday, September 30th. Hump day? I'm Marissa. And I'm Michael. And we are not your average news team. No, we are Soon you'll be able to get lost in a sea of corn cut into the shape of the Tampa Bay Lightning logo. Harvest Moon Farm was inspired by the team's recent run for the Stanley Cup final when it designed the lightning-themed five-acre corn maze. The maze will open to the public on October 3rd with the lightning mascot Thunderbug in attendance. That's amazing, if you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. A fake Ebor City is being built in Georgia for Ben Affleck's new film, Live by Night, based off of a novel by former Tampa area writer Dennis Lane about Ebor City during the 1920s and 1930s. Unfortunately for Tampa, the absence of state tax incentives for movie productions, coupled with Affleck's wish to work close to home, means filming will not take place locally. Great job, Florida. Now Ben will never grace our presence. A fluorescent hawksbill sea turtle has been discovered off the coast of the Solomon Islands. Glowing neon, red, and green. No, this is not a made-up thing from the life aquatic. This is the first marine reptile scientists have found that exhibits biofluorescence, which is the ability to absorb light and re-emit it as a different color. You go, turtle. Shine bright like a diamond. This turtle is truly lit. But even better than glowing turtles. School, School announcements! announcements. Applications and dues for Youth and Gov are due to Mr. Masano in room 704 or to a board member by this Friday, October 2nd. Beta honor applications for 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students are being distributed in homerooms starting today. To qualify for beta, you must have a 3.8 unweighted cumulative GPA. If you do not receive an application and you think you may qualify, stop by the guidance office. Any transfer students who are inducted into beta club at another high school may transfer their membership to plant. Literary club applications are available in Miss Smith's room, 234, and are due back tomorrow, October 1st. Attention all Sertoma members. This is the last week to pay your yearly dues of $20. Please do so as soon as possible by seeing Mr. Landers in the guidance office. The PTSA is kicking off its Reflections Arts program. Reflections is an, is an art competition open to all students, with judging at the local, state, and national level. This year's theme is Let Your Imagination Fly. Enter an original work of art in any of these categories. Visual arts, photography, music composition, literature, video, and dance choreography. Complete rules can be found on the PTSA website, florida.org slash program slash reflections, and entries will be due October 20th. Now let's check out Quincy's video report on plant students and their lunchtime. Yeah. <laughs> 
That really made me hungry for lunch. Too bad I just had breakfast. Applications for the class of 2019 Freshman Forum are now being accepted. The forum will consist of one student representative from each of the 20 freshman homerooms and will be led by the freshman class officers. For more information and an application, see Ms. Craigle in room 610. Applications must be submitted by 315 this Friday, October 2nd. They will not be accepted after the deadline. Tomorrow, the Media Center will be closed for Unity Day. However, the Media Center will come to you all day on Channel 5. Tune into nonstop TED Talks. If you haven't heard of what TED is, go to www.ted.com to find out. Teachers, look on Plant Internal for more information or see Mr. Penn in the Media Center. Attention thespians, a meeting will be held after school in the auditorium. Panther Prowl will be held next Wednesday, October 7th, and it is $5 for admission for performers and guests. The homecoming dance is next Saturday, October 10th. The tickets are $50 in advance and $60 at the door. Speaking of homecoming, Spirit Week starts next Monday. Monday's theme is Marvel Day. Tuesday is Team Spirit Day. Wednesday is Out of This World Day. Thursday is Tie-Dye Day. And Friday is Black and Gold Day. See posters in the hallways for more details. The Morning Show wants to give an apology for missing an important milestone for the boy and girls swim teams. Both teams traveled to South Florida this past weekend for the FSPA Invitational. Both teams gave a, a fantastic performance, and the girls' team especially dominated the win and won the whole thing. Morgan Tankersley broke yet another school record, this time in the 200 free. The championship girls included Morgan, Abby Kynes, Sarah Rossi, Caroline Rossi, Kat Sterlachi, Sydney Whitfield, Jillian Schulte, and Abby Shapiro. Great job, girls. In other plant sports, the golf team battles Tampa Prep today. Good luck, boys. Every Wednesday, we in TV like to issue a little challenge to our plant students. Tweet or email us a pic or video of you or your friends completing the challenge at, t at phstvprod or planthightvprod at gmail.com with the hashtag TVChallenge. The best responses will be played the following week during the show. Are you up for the challenge? This week, we want to see you dance it up with your favorite teacher. Upload a Vine or video of you shaking it with your teacher for a chance to win a gift card to PDQ. The winner will be announced next Wednesday. Last week, we asked you to take a selfie with your favorite AP. Sophomore Elijah Addison tweeted at PHS TV Prod an award-winning selfie of him and Mr. Wade. Another great selfie came from our senior, Peter Kiefer, of him and the one and only Principal Rob Nelson. Congrats, guys, on winning last week's Wednesday Challenge. Thanks to our awesome and dedicated viewers. That's all for today, Plant. I'm Michael. And I'm Marissa. Signing off. Have a good day.